Hi everyone, today it is time for me to do one of my all time favorite videos that I film every single month and that is my monthly if empties bag. Um, I am in a little bit of a different location. Today is Halloween so you can kind of see some of my decorations. That's my Halloween tree. If I, I've posted um, Halloween decoration videos in the past. I'll link them below in case you're interested in seeing them. But if we're being honest, this is just where um, a charger port is that I can kind of sort of still film at because I've got a window. and. This is just where it worked because my iPad was dead, and in case you don't know, that's how I film. It's on my iPad. I don't have a camera yet. Maybe one day. But all of that to say, I am going to go ahead and get through these empties. In case you don't know, these are just, vi um, not videos, oops, products that I've used up this month that I've been like, I haven't started and finished them all this month, um, but I've just kind of honed in and used them up. I have a decent amount of products, more makeup than usual, which is always a good thing, so let's go ahead and get through it. So, I have the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Wash. I really, really like this. So, this is the, um, helps replenish skins natural. I think that's just like the normal one. It smells really nice. It's just kind of powdery. It doesn't, it smells a little soapy and a little powdery. It doesn't have that much of a scent. It doesn't really stay on your skin, but it is really, really soothing. Um, I live in Savannah, and we have terrible, terrible mosquitoes here. And so when I got really bit up, or if I ever had like a bad rash or something, this is what I would use to kind of alleviate that. So I wouldn't repurchase it right now. It's not as moisturizing as I would prefer. But if I ever get like something wrong with my skin or something, um, this is something I would definitely go back to. Next is the Curled Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly. So this is, um, it was blue. There's maybe y'all can kind of see right there so it was blue and it was just a gel that i used for my hair it had really good hold um it didn't make my hair too crispy so i did like it um it's a little bit more expensive than some other things you can still find it at target it's not ridiculous um i like it it has no sulfate silicones parabens artificial oils colors or fragrances so it is a little bit more of a natural product which is always good um i liked it a lot i don't know if i'd probably purchase it yeah i think i would Next is this Suave Sea Mineral Infusion Salon Proven Moisturizing Body Conditioner for normal to fine hair. I actually have really thick hair, if I'm being honest. Um, so over the summer, I had some undergraduate students that I kind of took care of for um, eight weeks. I kind of was like, they called me mom. I was kind of their mom. I took care of them. Like academically, I read their papers, I helped make sure everything was good, I took them places. I just kind of did everything they needed me to do. So um, when they left, they for, or for all over the country. So, well, and we had someone from Mexico also. Um, so when they left, I actually, um, they like left me some of their stuff. This was one of those items. I did not really like this. Um, I didn't pay for it, so that was always good. I didn't smell that great. Um, I don't think it did that much for my hair. I, I noticed a lot more buildup when I was using it. So all in all, no, I would not purchase the conditioner. The shampoo was still in my thing. Also, um, the cap broke really bad. Now, I do usually have them up high, um, and it's never really been an issue, but these kept falling and breaking, so I don't know. That might just be the way I store it, but anyway, not great. Um, would not be purchased. Okay. Next, whoops, I have the Pantene Hairspray. Um, I did really like this. It smelled really sweet, um, and it was really good. It didn't make my hair crunchy. However, I did notice I had a lot of itchy scalp. Um, I don't have like a dry scalp. I don't have dandruff or anything, but it did get kind of itchy with this. Uh, but I thought I did a good job, so I'd probably repurchase it. I used up this Baby Crest 3D White uh, toothpaste. I went to New York at the end of August, and I've been kind of using up some of those items that I bought uh, when I've been traveling still. And I like this okay. I like the Crest Pro Health a lot better than the 3D White. So for me, I wouldn't repurchase this. I'd purchase the other one. And I think it's better for my teeth. And I have really terrible teeth, so, you know. Next is the Be Fine Food Skincare Night Cream with Cocoa, Millet, and Rice Bran. So I got this from Ipsy Bag a while ago. Um, it did kind of have a chocolatey, like, cocoa scent. It was really thick and nice. Um, it didn't really do anything great. I didn't notice it like really really moisturizing or anything that like I felt like was noteworthy it it was just a night cream it was fine I don't think I'd purchase it I used up one of my favorite mascaras the Tarte's Lights Camera Flashes generally I like a natural bristle brush 
but this actually has a rubber bristle wand um, and it just does a lot for my eyes you can like twist it it gives me a lot of volume and length I really like this it's super old it's cut and dried and it started to um, irritate my eyes so because of that I decided to throw it away once just I realized you're supposed to throw away your mascara after three months I highly recommend you do that I don't do that though um, I kind of just keep it going until it starts to irritate my eyes and then I decide to throw it away or if I can't say use it up but I've never really totally maybe one mascara I've really totally used up or if it starts getting dry and flaking <coughs> excuse me but this just started to irritate my eyes but I really like it and I do recommend it and would probably repurchase that I used up my degree motion scent in this motion sense and the scent sexy intrigue the scent was fine it's more a little powdery um this is my favorite deodorant i've used the secret plain and secret clinical strength and even a couple of clinical strength deodorants and this one i like better i do kind of want to try a natural deodorant but i don't know if i'll actually do that because i'm a sweaty gal and i live in the south and i'm not about smelling bad so i don't know about all that but i like this a lot so i recommend this and i will repurchase that uh, I used up the Revlon Grow Luscious Lash Potion. I think this is pretty similar to the Smashbox Full Exposure. It's got a big natural bristle wand. Again, it started to irritate my eyes. Um, and it did a good job. It gave me, you know, a decent amount of length. It didn't do anything amazing. Um, I didn't notice, like, a big difference. And I wasn't like, oh, well, I really like this. So because of that, I probably wouldn't repurchase it. But it's an okay mascara. I used up the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is their older packaging. Actually, today I'm using the new one that I got. Um, I do really like this. It's got this teeny tiny baby little brush, and it does have some fibers in. I think it can look slightly clumpy, but it does brush out pretty easily. So all in all, I think it's an easy product, and it's really, I like it. Um, but the NYX Tinted Brow Gel, I like probably just as much. Yeah, I would say just as much, and it's a lot cheaper, so I probably wouldn't repurchase this. Again, today I'm using the newer one, and I think it's still good. So, you know, I like what my brows look today. So, yeah. I used up a nail polish. Now, you, it looks like I still have a lot in here, but I actually don't. I can't get any on the wand. Like, it was one of those where you start, like, having to twist it all around when you're trying to do your nails. Um, but I love this nail polish. So, this was actually the Maybelline Color Show Polka Dot Collection. They no longer sell this. And... I was looking at the Maybelline website, and I think that they're pretty much getting rid of their Color Show nail polishes in general. Um, at least that's what it seems like. But this is in the Sage 65 Dotty. It had an orange base and some black and white, um, like, matte glitter in it. I really liked it. Uh, I always got compliments when I wore it. Um, except for my dad. My dad said it looked like vomit. But besides that, everyone else has always liked it. Um, I do think you could recreate this look with, like, a, a this kind of glitter top coat. But this was just easy. It was all in one. I really like this collection. But again, they no longer make it. I could probably find it on eBay or something. But to me, I would just rather move on to something else. Um, but if they did still sell it, if I found it in like um, a drugstore, I would pick it up. But I wouldn't like... I would pick it up if it was easily accessible. I'll say that. I used up my favorite mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, this was my first ever sample of it. And... It's as good as everyone says. It has a natural bristle wand. Again, it started to irritate my eyes and get kind of flaky. Um, it is this hourglass shape. It makes your lashes really vol voluminous and long. And this is probably my favorite. I do purchase both of these. I know that these are the more expensive ones. And I wish I had. I just haven't found a drugstore mascara like as good as these, honestly. So, there you go. I like this a lot. This is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade number 3. It was kind of like a wedge-shaped brow pencil, um, and I thought that it did really nice. It looked pretty natural. It didn't. It had like a nice amount of pigmentation. It wasn't too waxy. Big fan. I'd probably purchase that as well. Put in a little pile of the things I'd purchase, so I can put them on my Sephora wish list for my boyfriend. Um, then I have the Yes to Coconut Hydrate and Restore Polishing Body Scrub. So this is um, something I got at Target, and. It smelled really nice. It smelled super coconutty and sweet, kind of like the um, coconut, like the shredded coconut. So it was really sweet and good. I like the way that it smelled, but it was in an oil, and I don't. I, it wasn't really scrubby enough for me. It just, I felt like it needed more, all in all. And it was okay, but I, 
I wouldn't repurchase it. I don't think it's great. So, no, not for me. I used up my Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. Um, this was a little sample. I got the one month I had the Sephora Play Box. I really liked it, and then I got a new debit card, and apparently it didn't update it, so I don't have it anymore. Um, but I got this in the one month. I used it twice, actually. And I thought it did a nice job. Um, it was just a typical clay mask. It was pink. It dried down. I didn't notice it doing anything great. Um, so I would use another sample, but I would not purchase it based on the results I've seen thus far. I have one of my favorites. This little mini of the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Scrub. Again, when I went to New York, um, I got some minis. This is one of the things I knew I had to have. This is an orange scrub. It doesn't have a ton of scrubbing particles, but it's really orangey and it's just like re uh, like revitalizing. I like the way it smells. I like the way it performs. Big fan of this. Would be purchased. I still have, I have it like the normal size in my shower right now. I used up the Smashbox Full Exposure. I have done a comparison video with this. I can't remember if it was with the Revlon Lash Potion or not, but I've done a dupes video, so I'll link that below. So here's that wand. It's again, it's another big natural bristle brush. It's bigger than the Revlon, as you can maybe see there. This is a nice mascara. It actually, for me, gives me a lot of length, not as much volume. Um, so I really did like it. It's been in the favorites video before. However, um, I, I do like these two more. So because of that, I probably wouldn't repurchase it. But if I got another sample, I'd be happy to use it. I used up the Eucerin Original Skin Rich Lotion. Again, came in that same little set that I got for New York. Um, it was fine. Um, it didn't really have a smell, and it didn't really do anything great. It moisturized me okay, but nothing great. I wouldn't repurchase. And then I have two more makeup products. Um, if you don't know, I have been doing a monthly makeup bag for since March. I really, really love doing it, and it's really helped me get through some makeup. As you can see, I used up a lot of mascara, um, so an eyebrow pencil, an eyebrow gel, a nail polish. So it really has been helping me go through my makeup and my beauty collection a lot more. I'll go ahead and link that playlist down below in case you're interested in seeing it. Um, but I used up two other makeup products this month, both of which I had hit pan on. So that's always exciting. I used up this little mini bare skin or bare minerals bare skin perfecting veil in the shade light to medium um it was a really nice powder once i hit pan it went by really quickly um i had nothing bad to say about it but it wasn't anything that made me think wow i would go spend 30 dollars or however much this is on a powder so i liked it if i got another sample like this i would totally use it the light to medium shade for me worked really well um but i just don't foresee myself purchasing it based on the performance and this I would 100% not recommend or purchase, but I'm so glad I used it up. It is the Almade Shadow Softy in the shade 140 Vintage Grape. So if you want to see in there, it is all gone. So this was a deep purple. It was almost like um, a jelly formula, and it did not work well. It did not have very much pigmentation. It was a pain in the booty to use. And it started to dry out, so when I would use it, it would kind of chip away. Um... All in all, I'm glad this is gone. I do not miss it at all. Um, and I would not repurchase it. But I used it up. So to me, that's a big deal. I know some people are like, oh, if you don't like something, just throw it away. Which I understand that mentality by all means. Especially when you have a lot of makeup like some people do. Where you could probably throw it away and it'd be fine. Um, but to me, it's just wasteful. And I try to use up everything that I've purchased. So I did use this up. Just would not repurchase it. And do not recommend it. So... That's my empties video. I used up a decent amount of stuff. Like I said, a lot of makeup, which is always exciting to me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, comments, any of that. Go ahead and let me know down below. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.